their location here on Portland. I'm actually going to step out just so you can see there is activity here in the parking lot. We've kind of seen some preparations here. We know they are opening some more beds for COVID patients here as some of their other locations, particularly the one on Northwest Expressway starts to approach capacity. We are starting to bump up against capacity. Absolutely. Tonight, top Integris health officials reporting more patients as the virus spreads. Preparations underway outside the Portland location as they start to open for more beds here inside the COVID units. Intense, difficult work. You're in the trenches and um, you're really trying to pull these patients through. Um, it requires a tremendous amount of um, uh, ingenuity and and um, adaptation because you're trying to communicate with family members who aren't allowed to come in. The news of the new location opening comes as the number of hospitalizations statewide surges considered a key metric of the outbreak. The Integris location was once intended to be the state's surge hospital if needed, but as hospitalizations declined back in May, Integris says the state terminated that agreement. So now Integris itself is using the location. Hospital officials with this urgent message tonight. I would truly plead with our community to please wear your your mask, wash your hands, maintain social distancing, all the things that we've been, um, you know, talking about since COVID entered the state. It is very real. And we have reached out to a couple of the other uh, metro hospital systems. OU Med, for instance, saying tonight they do have beds available. They are not diverting patients right now. If we hear from any other systems, we will let you know on that. By the way, just in this evening, Oklahoma's statewide current hospitalization level now up to 458. That is the highest level since April 8th. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.